Brand new clue tonight in one of Boston's greatest mysteries. It's surveillance video from the night before the infamous Gardner Museum heist. And it appears to show a practice run. Jim Armstrong's live outside the museum tonight with a closer look. And Jim, why did they just release this? So it is true, David, they've had this video for a quarter of a century and we're only just seeing it now. We asked that very question. It turns out the quality of the video was so poor they didn't think it would have much value to release it to the public. Looking at it with fresh eyes, though, and scrubbing it up a little bit, they figured it was time to share. It is grainy, old, fragmented, and right now this never-before-seen video is as good as it gets. It shows the security entrance to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum almost exactly 24 hours before the biggest art heist in history. Investigators think you could be looking at a dry run, the thieves practicing. It's terribly important. These were pieces of art that are invaluable, um, tremendously important to recover them. 13 pieces of art were stolen that night, among them the only seascape ever painted by Rembrandt and Vermeer's The Concert, worth a quarter of a billion dollars alone. A pair of white men dressed as Boston cops conned their way in that night, tied up the watchman, and spent 81 minutes changing the art world forever. With video technology these days, we decided to take a look at this, uh, this video that we had and uh, sent it down to the FBI lab to possibly enhance it. The quality was so bad, though, the enhancement didn't do much. But you can still see a car pulling up to the gardener, one that matches the general description of the car robbers used the next night. An older security guard goes on on his rounds when a man approaches the door. The other guard buzzes the stranger in and off he goes. We're hoping that the identification of this unauthorized visitor at the Garden Museum 24 hours before the actual thefts um, will lead us to some new information. If you're wondering what happened to the surveillance video from the actual robbery night itself, the thieves stole that as well. By the way, there's still a $5 million reward out there for information that leads to the recovery of all this art. Live in Boston, Jim Armstrong, WBZ News. Jim, thank you.